Welcome to the Pearl Kitchen settings tutorial. There are three main settings in Pearl Kitchen that provide the necessary foundation to create clear and precise designs. Default settings, design settings, and display settings. Let's start with the default settings. The parameters you set in default settings will show each time you open your Pearl Kitchen and create a new design. Default settings can be overridden by the design settings for each individual design project. There are two ways to access the default settings. Navigate to the file menu, then select default settings, or open the view and settings tab at the top and select the default settings icon from the ribbon. On the left of the default settings pop-up dialog box, you'll see several tabs of settings, and the tabs marked with a black arrow in the lower right-hand corner have sub-tabs. The General tab controls the basic parameters of your Pearl Kitchen program and has several sub-tabs. Starting at the top with the Application, the Design path determines the area on your computer where all of your Pearl Kitchen files will be saved. Click the Select to set and determine the area where you'd like all of your files to be stored, and then click Open. Auto Save the program will automatically save your designs every five minutes by default and is highly recommended, but you can change the interval to your preference by clicking the up-down arrows next to the text box. The auto backup is used to prevent losing a design if it becomes corrupted. Pro Kitchen will create small backup files of your design every 10 minutes by default, and these will be saved in the folder that you have set in the design path area as a subfolder titled with the design name, time, and date marked for each backup created. The session Auto Log Off Time will determine the amount of time your program can idle before automatically logging you out. Select the drop down list and choose the interval that works best for you. Application settings allow you to change the language from Spanish or English and also use a previous version of Pearl Kitchen 3D Viewer. If changed, both settings will require a complete reboot of Pearl Kitchen before the changes will be displayed. The company logo will allow you to upload your logo and it will automatically be attached to every design created in your Pearl Kitchen. The Appearance sub-tab controls the style of your Pearl Kitchen program. You can change your appearance and dialog interface styles between Classic and Standard, choose 3D or Image Style for your info panel, and also change your scroll settings according to if you're operating with a mouse or a touchscreen. The Size Settings lets you increase or decrease the interface's ribbon, font, and icon sizes. Handle settings allow you to choose whether or not to display wall and cabinet handles, which are the arrows that appear on the elements once selected in your design, and also be able to set the appearance style of those handles. Dialog settings control the pop-up position of the various dialog boxes in Pro Kitchen. Other settings let you turn tooltips on or off, choose to enable the advanced catalog selector and also enable semi-transparent plan slash elevation selection. The network subtab rarely needs to be changed and requires a system administrator to configure. The unit subtab controls the default measurement units for your designs, metric or imperial. The system subtab controls Pearl Kitchen's Java program, 32-bit, versus 64-bit. 64-bit is the more powerful and recommended system setting. The Construction tab controls the default measurements for walls, cabinets, countertops, and, and others. The Wall sub-tab allows you to set your default wall thickness, wall zone width, also known as the placement zones, wall height, and wall items alignment. Wall items alignment can be set to the top or bottom of each element placed on the wall. Use the double arrows next to each numeric field to adjust the value. The arrows on the left side increase or decrease the value by a full inch. The arrows on the right increase or decrease the value by a fraction of an inch. 
or you can simply type in the value using your keyboard. Pro Kitchen will read both decimal and fraction values, so you can type it in both ways. The cabinet subtab allows you to set the default cabinet depth and heights for your designs. Pro Kitchen has default standards already set that shouldn't need to be changed, but you can if needed. The countertop subtab allows you to set the default thickness and overhang sizes for your countertops and the default height and depth of your backsplashes. The other subtab controls additional pallet weight if needed nomenclature orientation, and auto offsets of hoods from cabinets. The Moldings tab lets you enable default molding selections and molding lighting. Check the box to enable an option and then select your catalog and product. You can only pick one catalog as the default, but you can change the molding settings in your design settings for each individual design as needed. The Molding Lighting sub-tab lets you enable a default molding lighting. Again, check the box to enable an option, and then select a product from Pro Kitchen's custom lighting catalog. Then, determine the distance between your lights, and also adjust the watt intensity for those selected lightings. The Texture tab controls the default textures for your countertops, backsplashes, wall covering, flooring, and ceiling. Click the Select button next to each option to launch the Texture dialog box and browse through each folder in the tree to find the texture desired. The Flooring option has an additional button, Rotate. This button allows you to rotate your floor texture to change the direction of hardwood and, floor and tile flooring accordingly. The Customer Report tab controls the default customer report calculations for your designs. Choose your default manufacturer catalog, set your sales tax, tariff charge, design charges whether it's a flat fee or percentage, and also if it's taxed, and then set the shipping and installation charges. At the bottom are the three basic retail pricing models and you can set and select the one you normally use. If you use multiple manufacturers, you're able to set different pricing and calculations for each project in the Customer Report dialog box found under the Reports tab at the top. Finally, the Email Settings tab lets you control how emails will be sent from the Pro Kitchen program, if you want to use your own email server or Pro Kitchens, and also choose default attachments to any email sent from your Pro Kitchen. Once you're all set to save your default settings, go ahead and click OK to save and exit the dialog box. Design settings are the settings you determine when you create a new design in Pro Kitchen. These settings will override any default settings but will apply to this design only. Creating a new design automatically opens the Design Settings dialog box, but to open the Design Settings manually, select the Design Settings icon found in the ribbon under the View and Settings tab. The General tab slash Design sub-tab is where you'll determine the name of your design file and set your project information such as contract number, job name, PO number, order number, design status, process by, and also upload your company logo if you didn't upload it in your default settings. The unit sub-tab will display your default unit measurement or you can change it if needed for this design specifically. The users tab controls your customer, dealer, designer, and supervisor information which is used on manufacturer and customer reports among other reports. Customers can be set by selecting the Browse tab at the bottom and selecting either a previously added customer or you can create a new one by selecting the New button at the bottom. Pro Kitchen will keep a customer and address database of the information you have stored to your account so you can easily reuse or adjust for any future product, projects. Dealer information can be typed in accordingly, and you can use the Addresses database to select or add a new address for shipping and mailing information for your dealer. Designer information works similar to customer information. 
Use the Browse button at the bottom to select a previously added designer in your Pro Kitchen account, or you can select Same as Dealer below and it will fill in the information from your Dealer tab and set it as your designer information as well. Supervisor information works the same as designer information. Again, you can browse for already added supervisors or select either same as dealer or same as designer below and it will pull in that information and set it as your supervisor information as well. The last three tabs will automatically be filled in with the information you have set in your default settings, but you can change them as needed for this design specifically going through each tab and making sure it's tailored to your design. Once you've made all of the changes specific for this design, you can click OK to save and apply your design settings to your created design. Display settings let you customize what is and isn't being displayed on select view tabs of design and elevation plans. If you're not familiar, design and elevation view panels have several view tabs across the top or bottom of the panel. These tabs are used for displaying different elements like only showing wall cabinets, not showing measurements, removing all appliances, etc. And you can have as many view tabs as necessary. To access the display settings of a selected plan view, either select the display settings icon found in the ribbon under the view and settings tab or right-click on an empty area of your grid of the Selected View Plan tab and then select Display Settings from the pop-up submenu. The Layers tab allows you to selectively display certain layers of information on each view tab. For each line item, you can choose whether to display it and how to display it. Check the box will display that item. Unchecking the box hides it in that selected view only. Depending on the line item, you can change the displayed color and text for each item and also change its display label and choose to show or not show door and drawer fronts and knobs on cabinet items. The Themes tab will allow you to apply a preset theme to your selected tab and change the overall color theme of the objects displayed. The Measurements tab allows you to display or hide the dimensions of certain elements and also change the default end-to-end -end measurement to a center line measurement for installer instructions. The Style sub tab lets you customize the size, color, and style of your dimensions, lines, and fonts. The Selections and grip, Grid tab controls the style of your object selection outline and cabinet and wall handles. The Grid sub tab lets you change the dimensions of your background grid from the default 12 inches by 12 inches and also the line and background color of the grid. The Save and Load tab is used to save current color selections, load previously saved color selections into the Selected Design View tab, or reset the Selected View tab back to its default display settings. The Default Settings button will set your Selected View tab back to Pro Kitchen's default display settings. The Load Settings button will let you upload a previously saved display settings into your Selected View tab and the Save Settings button will save your current display setting from the Selected View tab in an Excel, XML format so you can upload it and apply it to other view tabs. The XML file will be stored where you set your design path in your default settings underneath the General tab. Click OK to save and apply your display settings to your selected view tab and return to make further display changes to other view tabs in your design. And that's it. Now you're ready to navigate through Pro Kitchen with ease and utilize those critical settings to ensure a more efficient and organized workflow for your future project designs.